Hi, my name is Tim Olson. I'm a refining consultant from Emerson Automation Solutions, and I'm sitting here with Leo Chang from Dow and Richard Bratz from MIT. And we just finished up with the Industrial Internet of Things and Industry 4.0 Forum. And I'll let them introduce themselves. My name is uh, Leo Chang with Dow Chemical. So I'm leading the chemometric and data and the program under the Industry 4.0. So I'm Richard Bratz. I'm a professor at uh, MIT Chemical Engineering Department. My research is primarily advanced manufacturing uh, sorts of things uh, related to chemical products, especially complex chemical products. Well, my first question, of course, is how is this digital transformation impacting existing facilities today? So I would say that uh, digital transformation or industrial internet of things or industry 4.0 definitely is not what's wrong. It's really a paradigm about how we should operate in manufacturing and what we are doing in Dow today, for example, right? So, so the summary is that uh, uh, digital transformation is able to make our decision process from more manual to more automated, right? From more reactive to more proactive. So take, for example, if you are the process engineer or one plant engineer in a chemical facility a couple of years ago, the Monday morning is going to be a nightmare. Because you're trying to see how my plant operating over the weekend and how do I collect the data, what are my KPI, do I see any alarm violation, if so, what do I do about that? So it's going to be the you know, entire morning is gone. So with the uh, digital transformation, we are doing the enterprise manufacturing intelligent EMI. It's a platform that is automated data collection and decision making. So when the run time comes in first thing in the morning, within five minutes, he or she know what's happening and what attention she may, he or she may need to give to a certain process unit. And then uh, this is one example of how we are able to use data better. Yeah, and what I see, I, a lot of the companies I work with are either pharmaceuticals or biopharmaceuticals. And that field, had, those fields have completely changed. So it used to be you go, went in and they're very trial and error and very much doing experiments. Of course, they still do experiments, but now you go through and there's all the state analytics, modeling, controls. You'll even walk into a production facility, it's very common in biopharma, which is considered a traditional field, and see principal component analysis, multivariate statistical stuff running for all the operators that are high school trained to read and watch and see if the process is operating correctly. Okay. Do, you, do you see any drawbacks with this new digital transformation? We hear a lot about it, but we, we hear a lot of positive, but are there any drawbacks or concerns? So I would say that um, um, digital transformation is a technology different initiative. We are a lot of enabling technology, but at the end, um, it's a human receptive to that it's a human element, right? Machine won't push back, but human will, right? So, so as an organization with the leadership, set the vision to set the behavior that you want from your workforce, right? Uh, the workforce is able to embrace the new technology to see the, how the technology can improve safety, reliability, and productivity. So I think uh, there's a really important culture change in cooperation with the uh, technology innovation. Yeah, one of the things to really, there are so many powerful tools now, um, in, uh, not just for digital things, but even if, if you even focus just on data alone, there's so many powerful machine learning tools that are applied that lots of people are applying those tools. But as you apply those tools, often they're being misapplied. Okay? Because they're so powerful tools, but from such a wide spectrum of backgrounds, from computer science, optimization, statistics, that the user is very rarely an expert in all those backgrounds. And so it's very easy to misuse the tools. Okay. Well, if I'm an existing facility and I'm just getting started with this digital transformation, what are some of the first steps that I should do to make sure I'm start with? Definitely work on the low hanging fruit or the fruit already on the floor, right? <laughs> Look at your existing data, you're already collecting a lot of data and 99% of data nobody pay attention, right? So do you have a business use case and see a, a, a business problem I can generate more insight from the data to improve your plant performance, right? Once you do that, um, find your champion, find your cheer leader to talk about this is the success that I'm seeing for this particular plan. Do you see the opportunity for the entire business unit? What about your sister plan or other business unit? How can you generate the momentum? Use the solution provider, use the uh, consultant, right? And understanding that uh, uh, in your company, you have a lot of domain knowledge, right? If you have the data science, uh, digitization technique, this is a powerful combination. That's so well said that I don't need anything <laughs> else to say. So good job, Leo. Yeah. <laughs> 
All right. Well, I want to thank you for being on the panel and for taking some time here to share some of these results and uh, look forward to seeing you guys at future AICHE events. Thank you very much.